But the big story uh, came in just as we uh, finished, we're finishing off the trading day and we got news that the Senate, the Upper Legislative House, has passed the governance portion of the petroleum industry bill. Now we need to clarify this very quickly. The petroleum industry bill, when it was first uh, introduced uh, a number of years ago, was an omnibus, thousands of pages document, but it was, has since been broken down into various segments. On one side, by the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, under the new junior oil minister, Dr. Ibe Kachiku. Then the Senate or the National Assembly had some versions of their own. So uh, we're talking this morning about the version that's been passed. Part of that is the governance part of it. So let's get that uh, sorted out very quickly here. I'm bringing Ibrahim Babalola, who is an investment, one of the investment research analysts at Afrinvest. Ibrahim, good morning. Good morning, boss. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much for okay, having Okay, so me. now having cleared what has been passed, the PIB hasn't been passed. Essentially, you know, um, I think I was reading in the papers yesterday that um, the Senate has passed PIB. I mean, we want good news, right? So any sort of good news is good, and this is fantastic, fantastic news. But um, the, 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 the the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources and the Senate, you know, they decided that to ease the legislative process, the best would be to break it into um, sections, into segments, and then pass it uh, segment by segment. Uh, so what we've seen now is the passage of uh, the governance bit uh, of, the, of the PIB, so it's the PIGB, the Petroleum Industry Governance uh, Bill. So the next um, tranche should be the fiscal bit, and then the next would be the host community uh, fund part of, of the petroleum industry bill, you know. So this, this essentially was been passed as the governor's bid, as, as you is, mentioned. Is, is it a lower hanging fruit of all of the breakdown versions of the PIB? It, 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 it doesn't look to you like the, the, the low hanging fruit. I, I, I think you know it's. <laughs> I, I think I, I think that this you know it sets uh, it sets the motion in the right direction. You know it sets the ball in the right direction for the passage of the remaining uh, the remaining segments of, of the bill. Set sentence in motion. Yes, it is. Set in motion. It, it sets in, in the right in the right direction, of course. This governance mm -hmm. part of it is still is however heavy. If you look at the breakdown. Mm -hmm. The bill on bundles the NNPC, mm -hmm. scraps PPPIA and DPR and other agencies. That's quite so. So what what they've done, you know, what they've done is to try to promote transparency and accountability, you know, and try to establish a, a profitable entities, you know. So we we had a little bit of redundancy, you know, in in regulations where we had the DPR and then we had the PPPRA, you know. Uh, so what they've done is to unbundle um, these agen agen agencies, you know, and then they, they both merge into the Nigerian Petroleum Regulatory Commission, you know, so that will be replacing uh, the PPRA and, and, and the DPR, you know. Uh, so this is an independent um, regulatory agency, you know, have a, a chief executive commissioner, they have commissioners as well, that uh, will also be reporting to a board. Uh, unlike the NNPC where the appointments are made by the president, you know, the, the appointments to these roles should be made by the president but be ratified by, by, by the Senate. Assembly. Exactly. So by, by the Senate, which increases transparency, of course. This is going to rattle mm -hmm. the industry. Exactly. If you're going to scrap agencies mm -hmm. that are Every fo a lot of folks knee deep in the business mm -hmm. of whether you're lifting oil or you're bringing in petrol, which is the DPR, the PPPIA. Then you have a new regulatory commission, like you have in the telecom sector, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have a new company, a two new company, Nigeria Petroleum Asset Management Company. That sounds like Amcon. <laughs> So, so um, the NNPC um, has also been, or will be bonded, of course, at the end of um, the completion of this bill. Because what, what 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 has been done is just that the upper the upper um, arm of the senate has passed. It still has to go to the uh, the, the house, house of, of the house of reps, of course. If you they know. will pass the same thing. If if they will pass the same thing. So I mean, it. it it's, it's, it's good for us to rejoice at this point, you know, but the, it, it still has to go through the House of Reps and they will be deliberating on it and then it has to go to the president for, for, for assets, you know. But at least this is, the first, this is the first step. So the NNPC has been broken down uh, into, uh, into two, um, two ent entities, uh, the National Petroleum Company and the Nigerian Petroleum Asset Management Management Company. So the asset and liabilities of the NNPC would be uh, divided into, this, into these companies. You know.
the interesting part, Boston, the interesting part of uh, the PIGB, you know, is for all these companies, you know, they've been mandated to release half year and annual reports, you know, and audited uh, auditor financial reports uh, and publish them so for the for the public to for the public to have access to, you know, which uh, which this this is new, right? And this is positive. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, uh, we're just dipping our our finger uh, into <laughs> the water to find out how hot or lukewarm it is. Of course. Because when it gets to the House of Reps, mm -hmm. then it finally gets to the executive branch. Mm -hmm. Then we look at the executive branch, which have to go through it again with their own fine-tooth comb, isn't it? Yes. So this is not going to happen finally anytime soon in terms of becoming operational, will it? In, in terms of becoming operational, I mean, I, I think that all, all arms of um, the government understand the urgency in, in, passing, this, in passing this bill, you know. Um, we don't expect it to last as long as it did in, in the Senate, in the House of Reps, of course. And uh, I think that, you know, the, the, the thing is, when, when, when you're having this bill, as long as you, you, you have the right meetings and you keep all stakeholders um, carried along, then you wouldn't have issues passing, pass, passing the bill. You know, we don't expect it to, to last or to linger for long with the House of Reps or, or with the executive arm of the government. Uh, I'm sure you and the rest of your team are already uh, uh, reading through this uh, very important document. How many mm -hmm. pages did you say this? Uh, it's 191. I actually, <laughs> <laughs> I went for 191 pages. The governance of the, of the my way here. part of it alone is almost, 191. Yes, almost 200 pages. Mm -hmm. Then we have about three more, isn't it? Yes, we have the the fiscal bit and the host community bit. Bit, bit of the bill. Uh, the host community one is going to look like the one now. It's going to be on top of the tree because when it gets to the host communities, those folks down there it's are very important. It's very important. It's very, very important, important as well. I think it's going to support what the government has been doing mm -hmm. uh, at the top as far as bringing peace in the Nigeria Delta. Thank you very much. Do enjoy your weekend. Uh, Ibrahim, one of the investment research analysts at Afrinvest. We'll be back after the break. We're still talking about uh, the PIB.